Most of my knowledge is based on what I hear from other fishermen. They are seeing the fish move north. Snapper and grouper and tilefish, sea bass and things like that all appear to be moving farther north. And I've witnessed firsthand die-offs of fish, especially the striped bass, that are not real accustomed to high water temperatures that I think have caused changes throughout the ecosystem. The higher water temperatures uh, lead to a decreasing spawning capability of some fish, particularly the striped bass. Well, the fishermen are moving north. The boats that used to be able to fish around here are having to move up off of New Jersey and uh, Maryland and uh, farther north in order to catch the same fish they used to catch here in the numbers that they need to catch in order to sustain their operation. It's a very stressful time for fishermen to have to load up and be away from their families for weeks at a time. Traveling to a, a distant fishing ground, it, it, it causes all sorts of ripple effects throughout their immediate family to the community, to the industry. I'm not really um, marking anything along a pier or anything like that that tells me that the sea level is rising. I notice that because of the area we live in, it's very low and it floods more often. And that when we're able to look out in our yards and see there's a puddle and it hasn't rained for some time, and then when there's more wind, it pushes more water up, the water comes into the yard from underneath and the puddle expands. There are places that you can't farm anymore because even under pump, the water level is so high that the, the crops don't produce. And I know that the trees are dying because of salinity that's coming in further and further uh, with time. To me, it's incredible that we could sit here and watch biodiversity uh, decrease uh, right under our noses and not recognize that as a threat to man's ultimate survival. I believe that there's not a strong enough initiative possible to uh, address the climate change that's almost certainly upon us. Our activities are cowardice in not facing up to the facts that we're passing on these problems to the next generations.